okay guys and dolls so now we've got the wolverine that i've just finished doing so um he's about 900 mil tall give or take including the base uh, the file is from 3d figure prints and uh, this is blown up to 200 200 percent scale so he's all pla um, he's done on mainly my artillery sidewinders, uh, also a little bit my Airy one BMG, and a couple of parts are done on my GTEC A10. So he doesn't light up like the uh, like the battleship does, but I thought you guys would would like him. Um, the base is technically speaking about 700 mil, but it's 700 mil because obviously it's got a giant finger sitting out the side of it. Um, but I really like the way his face turned out. So I really like the detail in it. I like the ripped mask. And I think that came out really nicely as well. Um, it's, all print, it's all painted in Vallejo paints, except for the finger. So the finger is actually um, using Aclad paints. So you prime in grey, then you paint on a... Uh, then you paint on a chrome or metal and then once you've done that you paint on the final color that you want i think the effect is quite nice as well it makes it look quite scratched up and things um so yeah all in he's probably about oh i think he's probably about um 400 hours give or take of printing a um, couple of hours of painting um, when stuff is this size I really find that it's actually a lot easier to paint anyway um, I, I find small stuff really really difficult but the bigger stuff I actually find is really not not that difficult to paint um, the yellow went on really nicely I primed in white and um, and that seems to have given that yellow a really nice base to um to sort of to, to adhere to and it's really shone the colors through he comes in a lot of parts really so the boots are separate each leg is separate the belt is separate um, then the torso then each of the arms each of the hands all of the uh, claws print separately the shoulder pads print separately and then there's different options for his head um, there are different options for the base i didn't have to pick this one I really liked it, so I did. Um, I'm not really a big fan of bases. I've said it before. I personally prefer to print models that stand up on their own. But the problem is, is when you scale up a lot of models like this, um, they were never designed originally to stand on their own. So, um, so it can be really difficult to find ones that sort of that don't rock about or things like that. They sort of they'd, they'd stand up if they were smaller, but as they get bigger, they 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 tend to tip over. Their, their center of gravity seems to shift. Um, he's definitely one of the bigger prints that I've done um, he, he's not taller than Sauron but he is bigger than Sauron if that makes sense um, but yeah I'm really really happy with how all the details came out and how he looks the paint job could probably be a bit cleaner but I'm happy with it as it is um, problem is, is you can always pick out faults and then you'll never end up finishing anything but uh, but yeah that's the model so don't forget to subscribe and uh, turn on notifications we've got a couple of big things coming up soon we've got uh, an s4 build that we're using the proper printing files for and uh, it's turning it into a a different a different way of that machine working uh highly recommend you go and check out his channel it's, it's honestly it's brilliant and uh, he's doing some really interesting things uh we will also be doing a build your own prusa with a bear upgrade um so that'll be quite a cool one to uh, to check out as well all right thanks for watching guys